Hey guys, Tech Tutorials here back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to make an awesome wallpaper through Photoshop. So let's get started. First of all, go to your desktop, right click, and click on screen resolution. This is to determine what screen resolution dimension that you have. Check out the resolution that is recommended for you and click OK after that. Now head on to Photoshop. Being in Photoshop, click on File, New, and put the dimensions in that you saw for your resolutions. Click OK. This will make it so that everything becomes detailed in your desktop background. Then, what you want to do is unlock the layer by double clicking the in layer properties, double clicking the background, and clicking OK. Click on Paint Bucket Tool, and in the foreground, color it black. Make another layer. Take, pick up the pen tool. Select anywhere on your uh, given area. Just click, click anywhere in the given space. Hold Shift and click somewhere else. This will make a straight line. After that, just right click on that line. Click on Stroke Path. Make sure to stroke it with a white color. So Stroke Path. Make sure it's on Brush and Simulate Pressure. Click OK. This will make a, a nice faded uh, color with your brush. Then click Backspace and Backspace to delete up the, the uh, pen markings that you made. Then make a duplicate layer by holding Control J. Or what you can do is just right clicking on the layer and clicking on Duplicate Layer. Click on this eyeball over here so it's hidden. Then click on your layer 1 copy and duplicate that layer. Hold C, Control T uh, with, to transform it, and put, put, hold Control T to transform that layer and bring your layer down, but with the arrow keys. Bring it down so it is spaced out evenly, and you can see both things in between. Then in that layer, what you want to do is hold Control Alt Shift T to make other layers that look exactly like that. And make about six or seven lines that go straight. Right after that, you want to go back to your layer one copy, hold shift, and copy all your other layers that you've made. Once everything else is copied, right click on them and click on merge layers so everything becomes one. Right after that, all you have to do is click Control T, right click, and click on warp. In this, you have to edit up. This may allows you to edit up your linings and in which way you want to fix up your your lines. So I, I'll be messing out. This is the fun part. So I'll be I'll be messing around with whatever I'm doing right now, and just make any abstract lines that you feel like that will look nice. I'll just make it like that. nice yeah all right so that looks good and I made mine like that then right after all you want to do is duplicate that layer so duplicate layer yes click control T again right click and now you have to click on flip horizontal and flip horizontal will make a nice view of however you want to um, make a layer so I want to just like uh, let's see should keep it like this and just mess around with however way you want to do it and that would look nice yeah all right so this looks nice this looks like a I don't know a cat hat okay uh, then you want to hold shift on your layer properties and and uh, copy these two layers click on the other layer right click and click on merge layers what you want to do after this is click CTRL Control J to duplicate the layers again. In this, hold Control T, and what you want to do is click on Flip Vertical. This will make it a different way of uh, making the <clears throat> the image that we made. Then you just want to mess around with whatever, however way you want to do it, which I'm just gonna edit up at the moment. Alright, so once you're done fixing up your layers, I just have to make it bigger and just move it to the side a bit so that it doesn't interfere with my desktop icons. 
and uh, just edit it up in whichever way you could just edit it through any other icon. So I'm just gonna uh, go to my pictures and just add in something. So just put a bit more detail into it, and I'll just add the Twitter icon, which I'll minimize, and I just want to center it. Click enter and put the Twitter icon behind all the other other uh, linings. Then you want to click on opacity and just fade in the Twitter icon. Just fade that in. That's good. All right. So right after that, when you're done, uh, click on File, Save As, and save it as JPEG. Right here. I'll save it to desktop and make it to the highest resolution that you can so that it becomes fully detailed. Then click OK. Then you can X out Photoshop if you want. Set that out. And right click on your wallpaper. Click on Set as Desktop Background. And here is your desktop background. Now, uh, this actually looks awesome. It looks manually designed. It looks beautiful. But it's the way that you make it. My, the way that I made it was kind of weird. But I also made a different one which was actually kind of better. Uh, which was oh, let's see, this one. This one was a bit better than what it was but it, it was interfering with my icon so I had to make some other ones so this one looks a lot better you can make any way that you want you can make it look better uh, it's just the way that you think the way that your idea the way it's the way that you're creative thanks for watching this video please comment rate subscribe